Hey, it's Michael from Mark Smarter, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to filter a list by element type in Dynamo. Now, this combination of nodes is super useful for when you want to select a bunch of items on screen, but you only want to operate on a specific family type. Now, I'm here in the Revit sample model, and let's say I want to update an instance parameter uh, some of the single doors in the rooms that are visible here. Now, there's a bunch of ways that I can do this in Dynamo, but probably the easiest way is going to be to use the Select Model Elements node. Then I can select all the elements that I see here and then filter the list for the specific doors that I need. Now, let me show you how to do this. And as you'll see, it's actually really straightforward. I'm going to switch over into Dynamo. There we go. And I'm just going to go ahead and create a new file. And I'm working in uh, Revit 2021 right now. And let's clear this out. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to get the select by or select model elements node. So I'm going to go to Revit selection. And let me scroll down to select model elements right here. And once I've done that, I can go ahead, I can click the select button. And then inside of Revit, I can select the model element. So let's say I just want to get the elements that are in this wing in the sample model. Now, back in Revit, you can see all of the element IDs of the models or the elements that I've selected. Now, I want to next get the name of those elements. And this is actually going to give me their type names. So under the Revit library, I'm going to go to the elements category and then choose the element subcategory. If I scroll down to the bottom, all of these nodes here, the question mark are considered query nodes, so they provide some information about the selected elements. So I can choose the name node right here. And I'm going to connect our select model elements to element name. If I hover over the preview here, I can see the element names here, and these are corresponding to those element types. I can scroll down here, and I'm going to see you know, a whole bunch of different things because I selected all the elements uh, that were visible in that portion of the model. Some of these elements, though, are doors. Now, let's say I want to get those single doors, and I happen to know the name of the door type that I want to uh, select so I can modify. I'm going to double click in empty space, and it just so happens that the door that I want is called uh, 0915X1220 mm for millimeter. So that's the name of the door that I want to select. Now I have the list of all of the element names and I have the a, a code block that has the name of the door that I want. I'm going to use the equal equal node, which I can find under math operators here. And what this is going to do is it's going to uh, just check and see whether the element name is equal to the name that I've specified. Now you'll notice in the math operators uh, subcategory here, there's two equal equal nodes. The first one allows me to provide a tolerance. So this is if I want to compare numbers. The second one is more general and it can compare numbers and it can also compare text. So I'm going to make sure I choose that second option. And you'll see it has an X input and a Y input. So I'm going to connect into the X input my element name and I'm going to connect in the Y input the text string here from my code block. Now, one thing to keep in mind with your code blocks is just make sure when you type a value into a code block that you put it in quotes. So you open the quotes, put your, your string, your piece of text there, close the quotes, and then end it with a semicolon. So now our equal equal note is comparing these two strings, our element name and the, the text here from our code block. What it's going to return is a series of true false values. So false if the items don't match and then true if they do. So as I scroll through, I can see I get some true values and I get a whole lot of false values. And that's exactly what I want. I'm filtering through this list. Now I can unpin that. The next step, because what I want to end up with is a list of just the doors that I want, just the elements that I want. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use a node called filter by Boolean mask. And I find that under the list library and I go to list modify and then I see it here, filter by Boolean mask. Now, the name of it sounds a little bit weird, like what is a Boolean mask? Well, I'll tell you, a Boolean mask is just a list of true false values. So 
filter by Boolean mask is going to filter my list into two resultant lists, two output lists. One that where the values are equal to true in the mask and one where the values are equal to false in the mask. Now we created our mask here using this equal equal node. So I'm going to use that to filter my list of elements that I selected. So I go back to our select mall elements node. I connect that to the list input and then I'm going to use the mask, uh, my equal equal node here. And again, all that does is it filters the list into two parts, one where the values are equal to true, one where they're equal to false. And we can do this because we're getting the element names and then we're checking them. So we're using the same list of model elements to get some information out, separate the elements into true and false values, and then filter the list based on those true false values. So I'm going to go ahead and I can see my results here. And I end up with, again, two lists. One list that contains six uh, doors that match the door name that I'm looking for, and then a, another list that contains everything else. So if we pull up a, let's pull up a watch node. I'm just going to type this into the search bar. And the watch node is going to let me look at what's going on inside the node instead of just hovering over the preview like this. And then I'm also going to take an element name node. So I'm going to just select the element name node I have in my script so far. I'm going to control C and then control V. So I'm going to take the in output right here and then I'm going to connect that to our element name. And then I'm going to go ahead and connect that to a watch node. And this is just going to show me all of the doors that I have selected. So this is a, a really useful combination uh, to get to know because this series of nodes um, is super useful anytime you want to filter something. So in this case, we're filtering it by the element type, but you could use a similar combination to filter by parameter value or to filter by level or things like that. So we're going to look at some of those other ways that you can filter a list uh, in a future video. But for now, uh, this again is a good way, whereas if you want to get to a specific family type among a subset of elements, you can use this node combination. All right. Thanks and good luck.